Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, A.J. Wood, and this is a quick tip on using curves versus levels. If you take a look at the image that I have in front of you, you can see that the subject, the little girl, is in the shadows. That foreground part of the image is a little dark, and what I'd like to do is brighten up that area of the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and using my layers panel, I'm going to press Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. And this is simply to make a duplicate layer. I'm going to take a quick second, rename that, call it Levels Adjusted. And I'm going to press Command L or Control L on the PC. And this is going to bring up the Levels dialog box. Okay? So this is Image Adjustment Levels. And what I'm going to do is brighten up the girl. Now I can make a sweeping change of the shadow areas a sweeping change of the highlight areas but what I want to do is just kind of grab the midtones alright so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over okay? and I think that's uh, that's pretty good so now we can see uh, her in the foreground right I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and what I want you to notice is this is before or this is the original alright so she's kind of dark this is the levels adjusted version and it's great we can see her but notice as I toggle this on and off this is before with the original image and this is the levels adjusted we have essentially started to blow out the sky and we're losing the clouds and things okay so I'm gonna hide this go back to the original once again I'm gonna duplicate it by pressing command J which would be a Mac or control J on a PC and I'm just going to rename this second copy curves adjusted and just so you can see where I'm going in the menu, I'm using a shortcut key, but essentially I'm going to Image Adjustments. We previously ran Levels, which was Command L, or that'd be Control L on a PC. And now I'm going to go ahead and run Curves, right? So that's Command M or Control M. So if I bring up the Curves dialog box, what I'm going to do is this is CS4. So I'm going to show you the new way to adjust an image using CS4, and it's with this on image adjustment tool. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that and what that allows me to do is simply place my cursor in the image and you'll notice that it looks like an eyedropper and I'm going to place this over her cheek because this is essentially the area of her face or the face is her area that I want to change and make brighter. So I'm going to put this over her cheek, press and hold the mouse and simply drag up. Okay? As I drag up that area is going to get brighter okay? and I think I want that about here I think is good All right. so now I've brought the foreground out I can see her face but once again notice just like levels the sky appears to be blown out right what I'm gonna do is place my eyedropper in the photo I'm gonna go over here to the water just underneath the sky and I'm gonna press and hold the mouse and this time I'm gonna drag down and what I can do is recover that area or specifically adjust that tonal range and I want to darken that back up to its original value or as close as I can be. So this is how I would adjust it using CS4. Now I'm going to reset the dialog box because I don't want to leave out anyone who's using CS3 or older. Right? So the on image adjustment tool is great. I use it all the time. It's very fast. It's very efficient. But what happens if you happen to have CS3 or older? Well what you'll notice is if you take your cursor and place it in the photograph you're still going to see an eyedropper but if you press and hold your mouse on the girl's face nothing will happen except you're gonna see that random point pop up and flicker as I move the mouse all over the graph right? what you need to do is actually place your cursor over the girl's face or I would place the cursor over the girl's face and I'm going to command or control click and what this does is set that point on the graph now that I've set that point, I can drag it straight up and down with my mouse, or you can use your keyboard. So I'm going to use my keyboard to adjust this point. Okay. And once again, what I've done is I've made that area of the image brighter. And I'll take my cursor, and once again, I'll place it kind of here in the ocean. And I can't drag with the mouse, because I'm not using this on image adjustment tool, but I can command or control click to plot that point on the graph. And once I've done that, I can either drag it straight up and down on the graph with my mouse, or I'm going to use simply my arrow keys. And once again, I can bring this closer to its original value. Right? So I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. 
and this is the original image and this is the curves adjusted image and what I want you to notice this is before with the original image and this is the curves adjusted image notice how the sky and the clouds don't change so here's the original this is the curves adjusted image All right, let's go ahead and compare the curves adjustment to the levels adjustment this is the levels adjustment image notice the sky gets adjusted this is the curves adjustment, much more specific. Right? So while levels is a sweeping change of your shadows, your highlights, your midtone areas, you have more control, more precision, more finesse if you use curves. So my name is AJ Wood. Appreciate you watching this quick tip tutorial, and I'll see you on the flip side.